In the last episode, you asked which book I was flipping through for inspiration. This is it. It's called Global Bohemian. It's really good. Last week, Zeb and Jamie came to San Diego, so we headed down to Kobe's Swap Meet to look for things for my shop and for the beach cottages that my dad and my sister just bought. My dad and my sister were also looking on Facebook Marketplace and some thrift stores. We got a lot of cool things, so stay tuned and see how we decorated the cottages. All right, we just had to do laundry at the laundromat. And what did you say, Dad? This is like camping out <laughs> every day. <laughs> well, you're going to get your own washer and dryer soon, but... To catch you up on the last episode, my dad and my sister each bought 500 square foot beach cottages. They are across the street from each other and half a mile from the beach. We are going to DIY them and decorate them with thrift vines because living in California is pricey. They each have identical floor plans and neither one of them have a space for an indoor dining table. So they both look for small buffets on Facebook Marketplace and added a butcher block to the top. The first thing my dad did was buy a new washer and dryer. My sister opted to save money by sharing my dad's and using her cutout for extra closet space. Then my dad started on his kitchen island. And there it is with the casters. Now we're just screwing down the butcher block top. And that is Okay, I'm leaning. Okay. All done? All done. We got the bar. My dad and my sister are gonna be doing most of the work while I plan their designs and walk them through the DIYs. Here's my sister's kitchen island and you just saw my dad's. While my dad and my sister were busy, I was down at Kobe's with Zeb and Jamie looking for vintage bargains to DIY and to sell in my shop. This is so pretty. Going what? to the swap meet and we're gonna get some junk. We can find some good junk. Oh, that is so cute and it's only $5. Those are super cute bookends. They're metal. I think the shells are also metal. That would be really pretty in my sister's house. The big armoire on the back of the truck. There she is. What a beauty. I cannot believe it fit exactly in dad's truck. I found this beautiful vintage armoire on Facebook Marketplace for my sister's bedroom. I want to show in this series how to save money because everything in California is twice as much, but you still can find bargains if you look. The price of gas for just regular is almost $5. It's been up to six, so let's see how much it takes to fill up my tank. This is life in Southern California. And there you have it, almost $75 to fill up my mini SUV. And here we are taking the vanity that I couldn't sell. Grandpa is out the middle. And we're gonna turn it into two nightstands. This old window from my shop, I've had it forever. I think I've had it since I opened my store 23 years ago. Gave this to my sister as part of her housewarming gift. I had her paint it with a special mix, which you are gonna see coming up, and now we are gonna hang it. Okay, I covered my buffet with plastic so I could paint this. Mix together farm fresh mint chip and salty kiss to get this beachy blue green color that I am totally obsessed with for my sister's cottage.
This, oh my goodness, I love the color chart pillow and that beachy blue green that you're gonna see coming up. The problem is, is that she doesn't have very much space in between her curtain rods and this window frame. So brackets won't work. So we came up with a fun idea that I saw on Pinterest. So stay tuned to see what that is. We just got a new leather sofa that you're gonna see in this episode from my dad. So this is more of the look that I am going to do in my dad's cottage. He lives right across the street from my sister. You're gonna see a little bit of that today as well. I love this, but you know we need more color. This is where I like to find a lot of good stuff. I headed over to Consignment Classics to meet my sister. We needed to find my dad a leather sofa. It needed to be leather because his dog Levi sheds like crazy and it sticks to everything. My hand's dirty. <laughs> Why? What happened? I was pulling down the bar stool. Oh my goodness. And it was heavily greased. <laughs> Definitely need something durable because Levi, man, Levi's hair and He's, he's a dog with energy. What do you we think? have been eyeballing this. It's like two recliners in one for grandpa. Apparently it's been here long enough where the price will go down in two days. And maybe then dad will get rid of his single recliner. Yeah, we might have to get rid of the single recliner because he won't have room. But this is the price right now and it will go down by a third in two days. Just for these, but look how cute those are. This little outdoor furniture, so cute. This would be so good for my dad. I think it's right there. Super gorgeous. Dad's new couch. There's the price. And that would be great for my dad, but it's too much. Now, go ahead, cut that thing. Hopefully my trick works. I don't know if the scissors, I think we need a saw. Or grandpa has a knife. So his hand saw will go right through that. This rope was expensive. It was $10 for 10 feet. We're worried that we're not gonna have enough, but we wanted it to be heavy enough so she can put plants up there. So we put some packing tape here in the midpoint because we need to cut it in half. But once we cut it, the rope comes unwound really easy. So this will hold the rope together and then we're gonna burn the ends. We're gonna thread this rope through. And then on the underside, we're gonna tie a knot. That'll hold this. And then we'll hang the hook at the top. So it'll kind of look like this. There's no room for brackets up there. Neil, how are you liking your house so far? Loving it. I want to go faster, but I know. It's, well, it's, it's going at a pace that we can all manage. <laughs> yes, next is your armoire. You're gonna paint that yes. for the next episode, yeah? Not wait. She's armoire. gonna blend, you guys. Beautiful. Well, you're I gonna have, teach me to blend. Yeah, I'm gonna teach her how to blend. I'm gonna prove that if I can do it, anybody can. Even someone who doesn't like to paint. I know. Well, I, I don't mind it. I just don't like to craft. I don't mind painting. Okay. But I don't like to craft. What do you think, Sadie? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, this is our first walk to the beach. Yay! Hi, Sadie. My sister and my dad's new cottages are a walk to the beach and the Sunday farmer's market. Awesome. The blueberries are the best. Jamie? Mm -hmm. Who is it, Ellie? No, I'm not. To go through and they have to be equidistant on both sides or the shelf will hang crooked problem oh, what, what happened there? You I'm hitting metal because we don't want it coming untied at 11 we found the joists now the hooks The knots, did we tie them in perfect harmony? We might have to tighten the knots a little bit, but I'm feeling like success. Danielle, what do you think? And here is a final shot of Danielle's shelf. I love this idea because it doesn't block the light. 
You can also see the seashell curtains that we made in the last episode. In case you missed that one, I will put the link below. I think it's a yes. That is cool. Succulent planter, but it's a pulley for a fan. I found so many great things at Kobe's last week. We have a Kobe section on our website and the link is below. <laughs> Apparently Zeb also hauls stuff for Debbie. <laughs> Always. Always. Yeah, no, that's totally cute. But then, that thing that you're like flinging around is worth like at least a hundred dollars. So okay. maybe we put it up front. Look at there this. <gasps> Ooh, velvet. Debbie. How much did you pay for that? Side. It was three bucks. That's not bad. I have never did seen. Did you know how to hold? Oh my god! No wonder. Zeb, can you fix that? Yeah. Who wants to know if Zeb can fix it? He can! Like, <laughs> if we want to keep the original finish, can we just patch this? It's, not even it's missing some strings. <laughs> I am so happy that you are enjoying the Cottage Makeover series. We got so much great feedback from that. We will be back next Friday with another DIY video and some exciting news. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching. This is what I want to do at the top of my booth. It'll have to be more shallow, but I think that will be a nice touch. This thing I think is the perfect display for my new antique mall space. It is super dupery comfortable though. I can picture myself in it drinking the coffee every morning. I've been thinking about doing a series redecorating my tiny home. It has been neglected for the last two years while I was running the giant store at Encinitas, but I'm ready to do some DIYs there. Let me know if you would be interested in that. These are some of the pages that I'm using to draw inspiration from my sister's cottage. What do you do now? Is that enough for today? Jamie. Are you running my shop now? I am. Okay. What, those are three ninety five if you want some. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store or to find the products in this video, click the link below. Thanks for watching.